Hello and welcome to AccessTelevision.tv To get started with creating a website one of the first things you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go and create a database. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can do this using a Windows 7 box. I also have JAWS 15 running here. To get started with we open Internet Explorer here I have already logged in to my control panel on this page we need to navigate to links list dialog links list view logout 3 of 171 to move to that we open our links list do a JAWS key F7 M my SQL register databases we press M for that Enter my SQL register databases visited link cPanel X cPanel To manage your database you're going to be using the my SQL pages quite a bit and it is worth your time to learn how to navigate them To get started with we press wrapping the top create new database heading level 4 I pressed H there and from that point I'm gonna start reading heading level 4 create new database table with three columns and two rows new database colon access underline edit create database button table end heading level 4 current databases search edit go button table with four columns and two rows database size users actions there are no databases associated with your account table end page colon associated alright so as you can hear, it just read there is no databases. Let's go back to the top. C panel X that. We press the F button on our keyboard. Video tutorial button. New database colon edit. Space. New database colon edit. Type in text. E S T. We type in a name for our database. There is character limitations on the name and conventions of the name of your database and it's also worth noting that there is a prefix attached to our database we have entered a name we tab test tab create database button press enter enter c panel x c panel x dash my sql databases page has one heading and nine links my sql databases heading level two create my sql database added the database left quote access underline test right quote visited link go back list of nine items with items we navigate to the go back link blank visited link go back enter go back visited link C panel X we press the H modify databases current databases heading level 4 we start reading from there heading level 4 current databases search edit go button Table with four columns and two rows. Database size users actions accessed underline test 0.00 MB link delete database. Table end page colon first link first. You can hear there is now a database associated with our account. We need to add a user. Per page colon edit go button accessed underline edit. Accessed under username colon table with three columns and seven rows so here we are and we need to create a user access underline edit space access done we type in uh... I don't know T -E -S -T -U -S -E -R. test user tab password edit type in text in this field you can type in your password or you can use key pass to generate a password for you there is also a button on this page. Let's see if we can navigate to that. Star. Star. So you need to take focus out of that. Tab. Password edit. Tab. Create user button. Add button. Wrapping the top. Video to check DB. Repair deep. Go button. Go button. Password generator button. All right. So we had to wrap around, but we're gonna press the uh, generate password button. Enter out of table. Use password button. Blank. I have copied this. I have copied blank. Advanced options. Generate password button. Edit Y number T6 home. Selected. What? 
copy selection to clipboard. We copy our generated password to our clipboard and we're going to go and add that to our keypass database. So here I just need to add a new entry. Alt D menu edit find and find select mod delete and duplicate edit slash add entry dot 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 control plus Y A. I press enter on that one. Enter leaving menus add entry. And we type in uh how about database user? D A T A B A S E database U S E R User tab, username colon edit type and test. Username was T E S T U S E R. Test user. Test user tab, password colon password edit dot 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 type and text. By default, KeyPass is going to put a, pre a password in there. We go ahead and delete that. Selected. Blank. And we paste. Paste it from clip tab dot dot tab. Repeat colon or shift delete. Blank. Dot. Dot. End. Selected. Blank. Paste it from clipboard. Tab. Button. To tab. URL colon edit. Tab. Notes. Tab. Exp. Tab. Button. Tab. Attach. Tab. Button. Tab. Tools. But tab. OK. Button. To activate. Press space bar. Alt plus O. We tab to the OK button. Space. List one. List view. Database user. Test user. Star. 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 We save it. Alt F menu open close save control plus S S enter leaving men. All right, so we have just created a new entry in our KeyPass program, and we have added the username and the password for the database that we are creating for our website. We go back to the website. Alt tab C panel X dash my SQL databases dash Internet Explorer generate pass advanced dot blank. I have copied this password in a safe place. Checkbox not checked. We check this box. Space. I have copied this password in a safe place. Checkbox checked. I have copied blank. Use password button. We arrow down to the use password. Enter C panel X dash my SQL databases. List of one item. Username cannot be longer than seven characters. So here you can hear our username is too long, so we need to fix that. Like I mentioned earlier, there is a lot of restrictions on how many characters you can use. Video to check DB, call check DB, repair DB, repair DB, search edit, go button, or page colon edit, go button, access underline edit, test sir. Space access underline end end. We change R this. Blank. How about a T user? T T T U S E R. Tab password edit. Type in tab blank star star tab password edit tab create user button. Enter. C panel X dash my SQL users page has nine links. My SQL users added user left quote access underline tusser right quote with password left quote y number t6 dswpx right quote visited link go back back and that looks okay it just confirmed it enter go back visited link c panel we need to go to our key pass database and correct that Alt tab website dot k database database user test user star enter edit and we opened it by pressing enter and we tab tab username colon edit test user type and text and selected test user blank we change this T U S E R we tab to the OK button tab 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 button tab attachment tab button tab tools tab OK button to activate press space bar alt plus O Space list one list view database user tusser stop. Now it sounds good. We save our database. Alt F open dot close save control plus S enter leaving menus. All right, we have this fixed that error. Alt tab C panel X. We go back to our website. We now need to add that user. Current users heading level 4. Wrapping to top. Modify database. Current databases. MySQL users heading level 2. 
heading level 4 add new user blank table with 3 username colon access underline blank 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 at app table column password left password strength left y right parent very weak password blank create user but able n blank heading level 4 add user to database all right this is the area where you add the user to your database after you have added it you need to set up file permissions for that user blank table with two columns a user colon combo box access underline user if you have more than one user and one database you can expand the combo box and select the various users that you want to add to your various databases for this demonstration we only have one user and one database that happens to also be the maximum amount of databases that are supported for this particular hosting plan. Database colon combo box access underline test add button. We arrow down to the add button and press enter. This will open a new window. Enter cpanel x cpanel x dash mysql account maintenance page has one heading and nine links mysql account maintenance heading level two manage user privileges user colon access underline user database colon access underline test table with two columns and nine rows all privileges checkbox not check space all privileges is the correct checkbox to use for the very first user you create on your database this user will have all permissions if you create multiple users and you want to only allow certain users to do certain things to access certain files and to change certain files this is where you would change that for right now we are gonna try to check the box for all privileges blank link logout on mouse over all privileges checkbox not checked by checking this box it should check the other boxes further down on your page space all privileges checkbox checked we start reading from that point and you will see that the rest of the checkboxes should be checked all privileges checkbox checked all privileges alter checkbox checked alter create checkbox check create create routine checkbox check create routine create temporary tables checkbox check create temporary tables create view checkbox check create view delete checkbox check delete drop checkbox check drop execute checkbox check execute index checkbox check index Insert checkbox checked insert lock tables checkbox checked lock tables references checkbox checked references select checkbox check select show view checkbox check show view trigger checkbox check trigger update checkbox checked update table and make changes button there was the end of the table we go to the shift tab make changes button press enter enter C panel X C panel X dash my SQL register database wizard page has nine links my SQL register database wizard user left quote access underline user right quote was added to the database left quote access underline test right quote visited link go back back we press enter on go back enter go back visited link C panel X dash my back on the main page Wrapping the top, modify databases, heading level 4. We wrap around to the top by pressing the H key. Check DB colon. Combo box access underline test. Check DB button. We go to the check DB button. Press enter. Enter. Page has one heading and nine links. My SQL databases heading level 2 checking database access underline test is now being checked. Check complete. Visited link. Go back, enter, go back, visited link, see pan. As you can hear, there was no errors. We have now successfully added a user with the proper privileges to the newly created database. The other important thing that is worth knowing is how to create backups of your site, such as your database. After you have a copy of your database you can use 
that database to create a replica that is 100% identical using XAMPP. We navigate to the home button. Enter home visited link. Find edit page as with links list die. We open our links. B backups. We press B for backups and press enter. Enter backups visited link. C panel X. C panel X. In your backup area, you have several types of backups to choose from. Download a MySQL database backup. All right, here we have the download MySQL backup. A little bit below there, you will have your databases. Blank table with one columns and two rows. Databases. Link access underline test. Table end. Blank. Restore MySQL database. Now it went to the next item. Blank table end. Link access underline test. Right there is the name of the database that we created. This name will change depending on what you name it during the database creation. We press enter on it. Enter access underline test visited link. Do you want to open or save access underline test.sql.g underline tab out of table file? Tab file upload edit browse alt n open button tab save split button. I do alt n to move focus to the notification area and I tab to the save button and press enter. This will save it to the default download folder on your Windows 7 computer. It is important to note where it saves it to. In this case, the default location is quite alright. Enter file upload edit. Enter name of file. Menu search tab at one of nine. Enter leaving menus at. We are now going to browse to the download folder. D. Desktop. D. Downloads. Enter downloads. I program access underline test.sql.gz. And right there is our database. We have now successfully created a database. We had added that user to the database. We have also gave it the appropriate file permissions to be able to access that database. Right now the database is empty, however for this demonstration purposes we have also downloaded a copy of our database to our local computer so we can use web, ser web hosting software such as XAMPP to recreate our database for our live web server. This way we can run test and do development without it being live on the internet. I appreciate you guys tuning in to AccessTelevision.tv. For more great tutorials, blindness related information, please visit AccessTelevision.tv.